It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Miami Dolphins. And it's coming up next. The summer humidity has given way to an absolutely gorgeous fall afternoon here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach, they've got a new quarterback, and they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. Florida Gator Eddie Pinheiro to get us started and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season he led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league and even more importantly took them to the postseason for the first time in six years that jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. You still hold your breath a little when Tua gets out of the pocket, but there he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Tua gonna throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now Tua. That is caught. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Tyreek Hill. Make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go and prove it right now. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7 0 game. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. 
So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. The play fake, now Young. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Young now. And incomplete on the deep ball. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside throw to the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? That their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but... I have to figure that defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Young to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Young to throw again on second and 10. Over the middle, complete. It's Sanders. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through and also, just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. 
Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Sanders is in. Touchdown, Carolina. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. So Miami coming out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert, and a short pickup to about the 25. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Tua. Out route to Hill, complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys, already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. Second and ten. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, 17 yards. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. That throw by Young incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Young. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Now Young. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. And Sanders on first down with a little bit of space as he works his way forward, a gain of four. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Young on third down. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll look to Mostert to start things out and he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all and it'll be second and 10. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, 
Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and 10. Now Tua on the bootleg here. That's going to be caught by Waddle. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Third and five. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the left sideline. touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area wherever he lines up to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 14-10. to 10. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. It's Young off play action. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, force the incompletion. A second down throw for Young. That is caught by Thielen. And now off to the races down the right side. A big play there for Carolina. 44 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Option right, Young. Gets it down close to the 10-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Panthers have taken the lead. 
So two drives, two touchdowns here this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And it's now 17-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This taken in right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Miami set to take over. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. To his throw, complete there to Barrios. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Short completion, just four yards, and it's third and four now. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Tua sets up to pass it. Throw left side, take it in by Hill. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. The Panthers about ready to take over. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A nice stick and stop for a loss here from Jalen Phillips. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Young. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Looking to throw Young. That is caught. There he goes, right side. A big play there on the 
catch and run, 64 yards. I'll tell you what, this is not going to be a fun discussion at halftime for this defense. They've been absolutely taken advantage of in the first half. And here's another play for big, big yardage. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Bradley Chubb there on the tackle. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Two are going to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight and moves the chains. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. 
passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 35, here's second and nine. Here's Tua. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. From the gun, it's Tua. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. From midfield, here's Tua. On the out route, he's got Mostert. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Ten more there and another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Two and now on first down. Open man is Waddle complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 25-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Here's Tonga Vailoa on first and 10. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Here's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from taking the lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the 7, 8, 9-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They start on the ground here at Sanders. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big game, or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? This second and four. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 40 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. A first down throw for Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. An option handoff given to Sanders. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that block. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Young on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing, Young, over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And they just keep marching right along, first down on a pickup of eight there. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So first and 10 now from the 30. It'll be Young again. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. They brought the house that time on a young rookie. Maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Dolphins offense returning to the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. After the turnover, it's Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Right. 
So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On third down, here comes Moster. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And take it right on the 30. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with great starting field position, one time out of their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now back to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real through. He wasn't real through. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Nineteen seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now second and three. Once again, it's Mostert, and this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the lefty, Tua Tungavailoa. 
He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Here's second and three. Shotgun snap and then to give to Sanders. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right back to Sanders on first down. Had a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. A good pick up there, a 22. And this is where play action can be so effective. Your running game's been the driving force on this possession. So as a defense, you start shifting your focus towards stopping the run. But if an offense coordinator sees that, he can take advantage and they get good yardage there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers have retaken a third-quarter lead. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because, to me, 
They look like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and that'll bring up second down. Tua sets up to pass it. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run right side with Mostert. Gets past one man. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down. Here's Mostert again. Time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 17 yards from the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part. It's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. On first and 10, it's Mostert. 
And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Von Bell up to make the tackle. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On second down, Mostert. Oh, look at the juke. Got a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That has to feel like a very unsatisfying drive, right? You move the ball all that way, and then you can't convert on third down. But it was satisfying up until that point. Almost like a great movie, and then the film cuts out before the big ending. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. The tackle credited to Deshaun Elliott, the safety. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Here's a second and five. Running right, here's Sanders. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now third down and seven. Now Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Another run here with Sanders. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and nine. To throw, Young. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Speedster Raheem Mostert in the rest of this offense out to start the drive. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. 
And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Second and five. Looking to pass to him. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. And again, it's Tugga Bailoa. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Alec Engel. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Dolphins have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out, nah, nah, nah. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are all tied at 28. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Here now, second and four. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. The offense on third down, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and ten. Now here's Young. And that is incomplete. And a smart play there. It's probably saying, I 
wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Here's Barrios. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one left side caught by Barrios. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he'll finally be taken down at the two yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 61 yards. A oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Two are going to throw. set them up first and goal and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. The thing I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown, we saw the payoff, but of course that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Looking to throw, Young. Before that last pass, two interceptions had already been thrown. And this last one tipped in the air, which means everyone on defense is almost fighting each other in order to get to the football to try and make it a third. Once you've thrown a couple, it's almost like a swarm of bees going after the ball. And in this case, they weren't able to get there before it fell to the ground. From the shotgun, it's Young. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
They'll run. It's Sanders. And unable to get downhill there, so take this up to about the 37. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So from the 37, here's a second and nine. Here's Young. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a false throw could do your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Young will set to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And here comes Berrios. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slam. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. See the athleticism there of Brian Burns stopping him behind the line. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it can be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. So the completion good for six yards, third and seven now. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Dolphins on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and seven. Here's Tua. And this is going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. down throw for Young. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. 
Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here is third and five. Now Young. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A first down throw for Young. That one complete. He finds Sharp. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On play action, Young. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 125 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try to make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to roll. Jerome Baker crashing downhill and getting the stop. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Christian Wilkins showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. It was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Third and long for Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 29-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Young now. second sack of the afternoon and this dominant defensive performance continued on that play this poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often well, they'll come up now this is second and long young to throw it oh he dropped it they were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. A partner guaranteed they approached this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. A 
unfortunately, that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh no, he lost the football! Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Here we go. This is fourth down. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. He's gonna let it fly. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. No surprise. They try to throw the ball fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. A little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, get right? Get your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up facing third and five. Once again, it's Mostert, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. This will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So now Young and the Panthers down by seven. A minute 38 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Now Young. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And... Hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. And they'll indeed take a knee. Fourteen yard line, second and eleven.
Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here. They hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Able to find Thielen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, defensively there, you want to play it a little safe and keep the action in front of you, but you definitely aren't looking to give up plays like that. They still got the cushion of a two-score lead, but don't give them a freebie here in the final minute. This is first and ten. Here's Young. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Problem for them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think just too little, too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case, we're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's DJ Chark who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. 
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.